Hey Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's story and that is completely okay. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description box. And also remember that roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Taurus, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection with another person for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's see. For the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Hanged Man. Okay. Okay, it feels like somebody here wants to give something. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wants to give something to another person or exchange something, like something, um, it could be anything. Some kind of an exchange here. Um, but there's a little bit of holding back. There's a little bit of, okay, wait, let's, let's put that on pause and let's just wait um, for whatever reason. Let's see, the recent past, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like there was either some kind of action has been taken here, um, or somebody's just really focused on taking some kind of a direction. For some of you, this definitely could also be that there was some communication here, whether it was directly or indirectly. But well, let's see, let's see for your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or you might have strong Pisces in your charts. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're focused on something. You're working on something, but whatever that is that you are focused on or working towards, you're having some kind of doubts or there's a little bit of fear. Um, attached to that, possibly just not knowing where that will lead, feeling like you might not know where this is heading or what the result might be, something along those lines. Um, let's see for them, we have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a fire sign, particularly a Leo. Um, this other person, it's like very emotionally detaching. Um, maybe from this connection, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the negative way. Um, maybe the, they are meant to detach, but I do see some kind of a, a detachment here from something. Not exactly sure what it is. Um, so we'll get more information on that when we clarify. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so that's good. That's somebody going after their wish fulfillment. Um, and I do see, I actually feel like that's in relation to you um, because I feel like whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is that you're wanting to do here, that's something you really want. And I see you going after that or that coming in for you. Let's see the final message for you. We have Justice, all right, nice. Um, Libra also showing up here. So, I mean, Justice, any way you look at it, it's a very, very positive card to have as the message for you because I feel like either things are coming into balance, um, which is actually also represented here by this situation with the Six of Pentacles on a smaller scale, right? It's talking about balance, um, some kind of an exchange, some kind of a something, wanting to give. And this could even be just to exert energy towards something where there may have been a little bit of holding back I it's like spirit is saying no you know whatever it is that you are focusing on whatever it is that you're wanting to do whatever this exchange might be um, it's it's going to be for the best it's going to work out now for others of you this could even be talking about something um, as big as a legal situation a divorce maybe a marriage okay because it is a love reading so anything along those lines so yeah, let's clarify. All right, Taurus, let's see the Six of Pentacles with the Hanged Man. All 
All right, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool. All right. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those situations which can be um, kind of like, okay, almost confusing or almost like creating a little bit of, like I said, doubt or not knowing exactly which path to take. It can create some, I'm getting like emotional confusion. So it's like wanting something here, right? Wanting to find some kind of balance, wanting to give your energy to something or to make some kind of exchange or give something to somebody possibly. And that could be anything. Um, or just to make things even in some way, right? And and even that could even, if, if we're talking about divorce here, it could even be that, right? Um, whatever this is though, I feel like, you know, there it's like there's a plan around it, like, there's been some planning and then kind of waiting. So that's why there's been this like almost procrastination or just kind of holding back. And I feel like really what it is is the the fact that it brings up some emotional um, confusion because it could be that on the one hand, you know, you feel like this is the right way to go. And then on the other hand, it can create, you know, uncomfortable feelings as well. And so you don't know how exactly to go about it. But I do feel like there's been little things that have been um, done here, all right? And I, I mean, I'm really getting here that whatever whatever this is, it's something that might require like a bigger step, all right? Because with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm getting it's like small steps. It's like doing little things. And then we have the Fool here. It's like, yeah, you know, it's it, it, it needs like a bigger leap. Like, okay, now it's time to take that big step um, towards whatever that is. Or it, I mean, this could even be just in terms of communicating with somebody. Um, it could be anything. So take it as it resonates. And of course, this could be your person's energy. So let's see that. And the roles can be reversed also. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles in your energy. All right, Judgment and the Emperor. All right, pretty big energies here. Whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is that you're working towards, it's a really big decision. We have two major, major decision cards out on the table, right? Judgment and Justice. And you're focused on this. You're focused on making some kind of a discernment, on coming to some kind of a conclusion. And I feel like whatever this is, it has to do with, you know, whatever it is that's going to make you feel like this emperor, right? Like really getting your life under control, really feeling empowered and feeling like you are the one who has control over your life and not anybody else. Let's see the moon. Ooh, the Nine of Cups showing up again, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, so you're not sure, you're doubting whether this decision, um, whether it will lead you to happiness, whether it will lead you to, you know, some kind of a wish fulfillment emotionally in terms of love, I'm actually getting here, in terms of possibly even romance, or, you know, like, will you be able to have that? So this, whatever this is, it could be something that feels like a risk for you, right? With that fool also being here in this situation. But like I said, I mean, just, just by seeing this um, message here as the final card, justice, whatever it is, go for it. All right, but again, you know, follow your intuition. But if this is resonating with you, I feel like your intuition is like, yeah. Yeah, focus on this. Focus on being this emperor. You got this. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Whoever this might be. Let's see this Queen of Wands. All right, and we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Um... This is someone who is struggling to make a shift. I feel like they are, whoever it is. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of back and forth. There's a struggle with it. However, this is somebody who 
Number one, I feel, has a lot of desire for you, a lot of passion for you. But there's a shift here. There's something that either they're feeling like needs to shift or they're, they're shifting um, in some way. Hold on. Let me see this Eight of Cups. The Six of Pentacles and the World. So we have that Six of Pentacles showing up again, second time, right? Which was in the in the situation. Um, wow. Okay. It feels like this person was is actually like waiting for this exchange, almost um, waiting for this balance to take place, waiting for this um, effort to be put in. But it's also coming in as them actually just detaching from it, feeling like, okay, you know what, maybe it will never happen. And this is why there's this shift. Like they, they still have this passion for you, but there there's the and it's not easy for them to make this shift. Almost like there's something that they're changing in their life or in their way of thinking or in their way of being. And it's not easy for them. Um Almost like they just don't believe that this will actually happen. So I don't know what that's about. Um, if this is making sense to anybody, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, it just feels like this person is like, okay, whatever this exchange is, they're like, Okay, you know, like whatever, that's that's done. I'm walking away from that. Or just not not expecting not expecting that. Um so if you're trying to walk away from someone, this could definitely be somebody who's trying to change their ways in order to keep you and but it's not easy for them um and they just don't want this exchange of, okay, let's just assume divorce papers, or it could even be somebody who actually wants this connection with you, somebody else um, who wants a connection with you and is like, okay, you know what, this is never coming in, so, you know, I gotta, I gotta detach from this, I gotta move on from this. But it's not easy for them to do that, it's not easy for them to bring about that change, because there is a um, desire for you here. So let's see that Nine of Cups. And maybe some of you are dealing with like two of these people. One and one. <laughs> Anything goes in a general reading. All right, let's see. Nine of Cups for the near future. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, okay, so moving away from something here, moving away from something that may have been secretive or from something that may have been deceitful or from something that was just not aligning, um, that is leading you to happiness, to a wish fulfillment. But it's actually leaving something deceptive in the past and I feel like you know what that is and that's exactly what you're doing and that's exactly where you're heading. All right. So let's see justice for the message for you. And we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Taurus. Okay. So, I mean, Eight of Pentacles, that's like the very first card for your energy, right? Which is, like I said, it's all about you focusing on something that has to do with a major decision in terms of gaining control of your life. Whatever that is. Spirit is saying, keep doing that. Keep focusing on that. Keep working on that because it's leading you, number one, to happiness. It's leading to balance. It's leading to justice. It's leading to the freaking Ten of Pentacles. All right, you having it all, like you having this stability, you having um, whatever it is that you want, basically. I mean, finishing off here, I mean, we have both the Nine of Cups, which talks about emotional fulfillment, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which can talk about, you know, the, the material aspect of that, even marriage, um, long-term commitment. So, yeah, very positive reading for you, Taurus, this time around. 
keep doing what you're doing. Release that fear. The fear of you not having that nine of cups because it's here. It's here and then some. <laughs> All right. Taurus. Let's see. Final message for you. And we have why. All right. Interesting card. So it could be that, you know, you're asking too many whys is what I'm getting for certain things. You're asking too many whys. Um, which doesn't really feel like that that's in your element actually, but there might be something in this situation that is creating you to ask why is it, you know, just, um, like that seven of cups, you know, having this confusion, which way, you know, don't, don't ask these questions almost like, yeah, it's okay to explore questions, but I feel like you already know that's the thing here. You already know, um, and you're already doing it. So that is it, Taurus. I thank you so much for watching and much love.